Welcome to our final lap of Plus Trending this week. Remember, you can drop your comments on social media using the hashtag Plus Trending or send them to us on WhatsApp at 090-600-5719. That's 090-600-5719. So, during the week, Yaba left trended because a young man took it upon himself to investigate what really goes on in the Federal Neuropsychiatric Hospital, a.k.a. Yaba left. Just left. Oh, uh, um. Anyway, during his investigation, he came up with some findings that he released publicly on social media. As expected, hmm, that report covered an unimaginable, well, maybe imaginable level of corruption as it is today. Fisaya Shoyombo is the investigative journalist who went undercover for three weeks back in November, disguising himself as a drug patient, spending 10 straight days on what admission at Yaba left. First off, he tried to get a bed space with 7,000 naira and a lot of backyard runs, you know? Hmm? But that didn't work, and he never got a refund for his money. <laughs> We're shocked. All in the name of no bed space. Well, did you know Yaba Left actually had an annex in Oshodi? Well, this is one of the revelations of Fisayo's findings. Last, last, Sha, he got a bed space by disguising as a patient. Fisayo reported that he had to pay 20,000 naira for, guess what, Ghana must go back, which he had to come into the world with. He also reported that there were huge rats at Yaba Left. By huge, I mean huge. He also said that the food served to the patients were probably worse than prison standards. You know, lumpy eba, watery soup, things like that. <laughs> According to Fisayo, every drug patient pays a minimum of 120,000 naira as an initial two month admission fee. 60,000 naira of that was for feeding. He then shared the admission receipt, of course, which you see now, which included payment for laundry, which according to Fisayo, patients don't always benefit from, and also payment for drugs, which weren't even prescribed to him at all, and so much more. Now, you can find the full report or by the cable, also on the Plus TV Africa website. The Minister for State on Health had tweeted saying, this will be looked into immediately. But I and several Nigerians out there are hoping that by this, he means that not just the 20,000 Naira for Ghana must go back case, but every other disgusting revelation, including the rats at Yaba Left. And we also hope that this will be soon, you know, like this week soon. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Replying the Minister for Health, d -Ray on Twitter says, a lot of things are wrong with our healthcare system. This scenario or the scenario in the report is what usually happens in most government health institutions, but fear of unknown and lack of political will from government is what is keeping many aloof. This is not a surprise. Government should do the needful. Here are more reactions from social media. Our final trending topic today is one I really, really like. Now, the phrase, as a Nigerian, was trending on Twitter, and the comments were just super hilarious. Nothing serious, though, okay? Nothing serious. Just a few Nigerians tweeting their experiences as a Nigerian. At the underscore boss underscore lady says, as a Nigerian, 
if you don't count your money after the ATM has paid you, are you a Nigerian? Help me ask them. I count. <laughs> at DJ OB Media says, no, at DJ Oba Media says, as a Nigerian, we've grown to believe that once a relative traveled abroad, he or she must come back with loads of cash. Yeah, you got that right. You got that right. Now, this comment is actually a really sad one. So, at Dr. Olufumilaya also on Twitter says, as a Nigerian, your life really means nothing to the government. A building can just collapse. A pipeline can just explode. A tanker can just fall at any time. A policeman can just kill you. A hospital can just say, no oxygen. These are the sad things that break one's heart as a Nigerian. Deep, deep. Now let's check out more comments and reactions from social media. For joining me on the show today, please tune in to Plus TV Africa on Star Time Channel 308 and Channel 528, or visit our social media pages at subscribe, of course, to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa for more trending topics. My name is Bookie November, reminding you to keep smiling, stay happy, and make every day count.